all around the world still in shock over Notre Dame. Notre Dame Cathedral, after its horrific fire last month, is going to cost perhaps billions of euros. French President Emmanuel Macron has promised to get it done by the time Paris holds the Olympics in 2024. The 850-year-old Gothic building was already being renovated when the fire broke out. It's not yet known whether it played a role or what else might have caused the blaze. ...of Paris and all of Western civilization. It is still standing this morning after a fire that nearly destroyed it. Flames brought down the spire and much of the roof at Notre Dame Cathedral yesterday. And think about this, it's the start of Holy Week. This morning the fire is out and prayers and offers of help are coming in from all around the world. The cathedral's main altar is covered in debris right now, but much of the historic interior appears to be okay, and that's great news. The fire started during a major renovation project. Notre Dame now sits as an open wound. Tonight, new images take us inside the 12-hour battle to save the cathedral. Rushing into the danger, firefighters shooting powerful jets of water into the 850-year-old cathedral. A legion descending on the scene, a makeshift command post outside. As this piece of French history burned, the fire department sending up drones for a bird's eye view. What they saw, the entire roof engulfed. For hours it raged as Paris and the world watched. Gasps as the famous spire fell. Firefighters using water from the river, their hoses trained on the church as day became night. Scaling the scaffolding, the famous gargoyles overhead. Then a robot sent into the cathedral as embers rained on the altar, streams of water launched deep into the pews. Firefighters staring at the smouldering wreckage. This morning, by daylight, a wider view of the destruction inside. The crowds near you, we could hear them singing, uh, Melissa, and, and we, we just heard Hadas tell us that maybe there's still some hope for the structure to survive, or at least a piece of that structure to survive. What else are you seeing and hearing? Well, those uh, flames that had been brought under control, but were still really lighting up the center of the cathedral, we could see it through the windows of this front, this facade of uh, Notre Dame, so famous, of course, this famous facade. We could see still the uh, orange of the fire burning brightly inside. That appears now uh, to have died down somehow. What we are seeing through those windows now are the flashlights of the firefighters who've clearly managed to make their way inside. And the uh, question will be now that they're inside the structure, whether they managed to get that fire fully under control. We've been told a short while ago that this hour would be absolutely crucial. And so they're in there trying to get the uh, end of the fire under control in the heart of uh, Notre Dame itself. Uh, also, uh, to try and get an idea of how much damage has been done. But still, we're told that the structural threat remains because if those uh, bells were to fall through, then there could be still some tr structural damage done to those towers. And there is still that threat that they might uh, collapse. So still a very fluid situation, still a very dangerous situation. The crowds are still being kept back well away uh, by a police cordon that's been put up. And still their numbers are not diminishing because of the tremendous emotion because of the need really to be here. There's not terribly much to see anymore now that those flames have been brought down under control, now that that orange glow seems to have subsided from what we can see out here. But a need as ever on occasions like this to be together, to be surrounded, to understand what has happened and to try and get to the bottom of what the investigation is going to tell us about how this terrible tragedy could have come about. And how the, uh, the people of Paris the visitors, the residents, they've responded. We hear them singing, they're praying, they're bringing, uh, they're, they're singing these hymns. You know what, I, I just wanna listen briefly uh, to this, uh, this hymn right now.
mic to up, mic, mic, mic. All right, Melissa, I want you to stand by. Hadass is uh, getting some more uh, information. She's on the other side of the cathedral. Uh, she can also hear the folks over there uh, singing these hymns. Uh, but what else are you learning, Hadass? Well, Wolf, we are getting information about injuries. The French junior interior minister uh, says that one firefighter has been seriously injured. That's also according to the fire brigade commander. Um, that is really uh, stunning that one injury of, uh, after such an incredibly large fire. I mean, thankfully, uh, there haven't been more injuries that, that we're not at least not hearing so far. Uh, as we noted, uh, it looks as though the fire may have started in the attic, uh, and that might have helped give people time to get out of the cathedral, hopefully give time also to save some of those precious pieces uh, of art that are in the cathedral as well. Uh, but so far we're hearing one firefighter has been seriously injured. Uh, we don't know the extent of those injuries yet right now, uh, but the uh, junior interior minister also told reporters that the fire is now weaker, something that we can see right now. We are no longer seeing uh, the flames uh, coming through the roof of the building, which we had been seeing for the past few hours. Uh, they say that the, uh, they are now in a time of cooling, but both towers of the cathedral, both that very famous famous uh, front facade. Those two towers do appear to be safe and they are still working to try and save uh, those precious pieces of art, Wolf. Let's hope they can. Uh, Hadass, stand by. I'm going to get back to you. Uh, and, uh, I, I, but I want to bring in our uh, chief international correspondent, Clarissa Ward, uh, right now. Clarissa, tell us more about the significance of this holy cathedral, not just to Catholics, but to people around the world. You know, Wolf, when you, when you hear those hymns and you look at these epic scenes of this extraordinary battle against this blaze consuming uh, one of the most beloved edifices really in the world. The idea that 800 years of history could be going up in smoke. And when you saw those social media videos, Wolf, of the moment when the spire collapsed, you actually could hear people in the crowd of onlookers gasp. There's a sense that this isn't just about a building made of stone. This is a building that has survived for hundreds of years, that has come to signify so much of France's culture and history of resilience. It's been through incredibly painful and difficult times. It's been ransacked by the Huguenots in the 1500s. It was desecrated during the French Revolution. And yet it has withstood that. It's been lived through the crusades through the Napoleonic Wars, through two world wars. Notre Dame has remained a, a, a kind of cultural institution, not just for the French, as you said, but for people around the world. What young American does not remember, if they're fortunate enough to have traveled to Paris, the first time you stand there and you behold the extraordinary facade in front of you and you go into the cathedral and you see that beautiful, unique rose window and there's a sense, whether you are Catholic, whether you are Jewish, whether you are an atheist, whether you're a spiritual person at all, uh, of the sort of majesty of the artistry, of the architecture, you, you feel humbled in the presence of this building. And I think that's probably why, Wolf, we have seen such strong reactions from people in spite of the fact that it does not appear that this was a great human catastrophe in terms of loss of life. There is such a sense of grief as people watch this iconic and beautiful building uh, reduced to less than its former glory. Although hopefully now, with the news that the blaze is starting to be contained, that the structure is still intact, perhaps it will be renovated once again to its former glory, Wolf.